Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Again, we're revisiting Final Cut Pro, and today we're talking about uh, retiming clips, um, changing the duration, speeding them up, slowing them down, and uh, actually putting them in reverse as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I've got a clip that I dragged out. It's a little bit more of a, an action clip, I guess, and I'm going to mute the sound here so we don't have to hear that. Um, for the uh, the clip that we've got, we've got this uh, young guy here jumping a park bench. Okay, and we shot this with a JVC Addiction camera, and uh, I believe we shot it at 120 frames per second, and uh, it's pretty clear here as you scrub through it. Now, in real time, this is what it looks like as it comes through. He comes in, steps up onto the park bench, and there he goes, and he goes flying over. So we want to slow that down from the moment that he takes off until he lands here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that up here. Grab the razor blade tool and give that a cut there where it starts. And let's get it where he lands right there and cut that. Now this little piece in the middle is what I'm going to be working with here. Um, so we're going to take this clip and one of the way you can access the speed settings is you right click on it. And then we have speed as one of the options. Okay now 100% is our regular playing time. It's at 100% of its speed. If I go more than 100%, it's going to speed it up. If I go less, it's going to slow it down. So I want to take this down, and we'll start off with like 50% to see what that looks like, which will take it down to half the speed. And one of the key things that you got to remember when you're doing this is you want to click off frame blending. We want this to be as clear as possible. It's an action shot. So um, if you do frame blending, it's just going to put this motion blur in between all of them. And uh, it's, it's not going to look nearly as good. So um, let's go ahead and uh, piece that in there. And I click OK. It's going to expand the clip. And of course, it's going to ask me to render it. So I'm going to render that real quick. I'll speed this part up in the video. So it seems like it's instantaneous, instantaneous rendering magic. It takes a little while, yes. A little while. <laughs> I saw your text, I'm like, oh, that's too funny. First question off the bat, who messed up? Yeah, who messed up first? Um, you know what? Kirkland! Kirkland was the weak link, <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, first he doesn't... <laughs> First, he doesn't turn the camera on, and then he's operating the camera, and apparently, no, we ran three cameras last night. Yeah, yeah, three cameras, and apparently Kirkland didn't realize that you could zoom with the camera. I'm screencasting. All right, and we're back now after rendering here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this in real time. He's taken off, and nice and slow, he jumps over there, and that's pretty clear here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do something else here. That's going to make this clip a whole lot different. We've got it playing through in real time here, and we're going to go ahead and copy our clip now. And I'm going to paste it right in afterwards. Okay, so I got the same exact clip, except this time on the clip, I'm going to go ahead and in the speed area, I don't know if you notice this, but aside from the speed and the frame blending, you have the reverse option. So now he's not only going to jump the bench and land, but then he was going to go in reverse back to the beginning here. It's kind of a goofy thing. It's kind of a neat thing to re re-see something that uh, was kind of a dramatic or to emphasize something. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to render this again. We'll be right back. So um, we had two down in the bottom level on the on the first uh, on the bleachers. So we had one on the far left side, one on the right. So far left side covered the left side of the field. Right side covered the right side of the field. And then we had the one up top. And then we had uh, I announced for the first half while I was operating the camera up top. And then Mitchell operated the camera up top and announced with me. And I sat inside with the space heater and was toasty warm while yeah, I announced. Yeah, the space heater works. The space heater, heater works, even though it looks like it's like from the 1930s. Okay. But um, it was pretty good. The audio, I'm, I'm anxious to hear that because we tweaked all the audio like at eighth hour. And we, we it was working perfectly in that. So um, the only thing that I think we'll have a little problem with is just the wind noise. So I got I to gotta hear what that sounds like. I got to finish this up. All right, and we're right back here. Uh, let's go ahead and play that through and take a look. 
And he takes off. He's jumping off the bench, and he lands, folks, and he's coming back, and he's jumping back. Oh, my goodness, that's amazing. All right, so that's the idea with the two clips here. One going forward, one going in reverse. Uh, we changed the speed to 50% on both of them. Okay, you could do the exact opposite. You could change the speed to more than 100% and speed that up so that it's a little bit more dramatic. If you want to work through an action sequence, let's say you've got some martial arts going on or something like that, and you want to speed up the, uh, the you know, the general speed of all the characters and uh, the choreography, you can slightly enhance that with. Uh, um, with this kind of a setting here, especially on a high frame rate camera, which makes it easy to do. All right, folks. Well, that's all we've got for today. Uh, that's all about changing speed, duration, and uh, reversing clips. Thanks for joining us again with Red Hawk Media. We'll see you next time.